Hi everyone. I've been creating in a little uh, art journal recently, making some pages using prompts from Janet Nash on YouTube. She does some fun little prompt games in her live streams on Monday morning at 9 a.m. Eastern. And I don't do these live with her as she's doing them, but I do jot down the prompts because I want to do them at a later time. So I've been taking some random ones. Uh, this one was from September of uh, 2021. And uh, I just take a random day and I just take her prompts and make a little page and I'm having so much fun. And this was one that I made. Um, I've been posting these on my Instagram page so you can see some of these things that I don't always do videos on. And sometimes I'll just take a picture and post it there. So this was one I did. And then recently I did another one. Uh, this was from prompts on March 15th of 2021. So I'm attempting to add a little tag to each page just to jot the prompts down on so I'll know what I was doing and whose prompts I was following when I created uh, that day. So what I've done um, from her channel is I've got a little box that I created, oh gosh, I don't know, several years ago. Uh, this was just a little Band-Aid box that I took and made a hinged, a box with a hinged lid. And so I took and just wrote down a bunch of her um, prompts on these little half index cards and just stuck them in here. They're all um, mixed up. They're not in order or anything like that. And so occasionally I'll just pull out a card and create. So that's what I've done today. I uh, pulled one out and this one was from September of last year. And the prompts are postage stamps, vintage arrows, paint on fabric, add paint, and die cut. Now, when Janet's creating these, she takes each one, she pulls one prompt and she goes ahead and does it. Then she'll pull another prompt and she goes ahead and adds to what she's doing. And I'm not gonna do that today, although I did do that on, let's see, I did that on this page. I did them in order. And on this page, I did not. I just looked at the full sheet, the full list, I'm sorry. And, uh, and then created with, um, with the prompts that way. So I wanted to share this little page with you. I'm not sure exactly what I'm going to do, but I, but I have an idea. And the reason I have an idea is because I've got some prompts. And a vintage is one of the prompts. So I'm thinking that's the theme I'm going to kind of use for my page is um, vintage. I've got a dictionary page that is coffee stained. And I thought that would make um, a fun background on this page. So I'm going to just put some glue stick and just kind of cover the whole page. And I'm going to put this little mat underneath because I've got buttons here and they're, it's a little bit lumpy. <laughs> so all this area here is going to be in the way uh, when I'm trying to spread glue. So I'm just going to put my little, little cutting mat here just to give me a hard surface to glue on. And I'm not going all the way out to the edge because I'm going to just stick this on and then I'm going to tear some of it away. And then I'll paint in that area because I do have to add paint. You know, one of the prompts is to add paint. And so I've got to add paint. So I figured, well, I might just do that and tear, tear away the edges and, but let it, whatever's going to get glued, be glued right down into the middle here. All right, now it's best to wait till this dries probably, but I'm just gonna go ahead and tear. I mean, what wants to stick is gonna stick and what doesn't wanna stick is not. So I'm gonna just, a little bit of glue there, but I don't think it'll be too, too bad. Well, tearing this way is gonna be a little bit more challenging. Let's do, um, let's do a ruler there, this direction on this grain, <laughs> it's not. Not easily done. I'm going to just put this here and tear it like this. Okay. 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 And then 
this one should tear better. There we go. I'm gonna think about what kind of paint I wanna add. I actually have a bird that I'm gonna put. Uh, it's a die cut and I do have um, die cut as one of my prompts and it's die cut from a vintage scrapbook paper. And I really like it and I haven't used it. I, I cut several of these out one day and I still haven't used them. So today's the day I'm gonna use one. <laughs> Um, so I'm going to put the bird on the page and I've got, uh, one of my other prompts was, uh, add paint. So I do have some paint that I added to this brown paper. I had a stamp with, uh, blocks on it and I'm thinking I'm going to put this, um, underneath the bird to give him something to stand on, kind of like a stone wall or a concrete block wall, maybe. I don't know. I'm going to see how it goes. <laughs> Just trim it out and see. So I'm going to add the paint around the edges first, and then I'll put this down. So as you guys saw, I added some paint to my page and I added some more paint using a stencil 
oh, I also used the brayer and added more color in the background. Um, I like the coral color, but I felt like it was a little bit too much coral, which is why I was adding the stenciling on top. So after I got the stenciling on, I realized that for me, I think it's still too much color. So I let it sit for a little while and I came back and looked at it again. And um, I still feel like I don't like that much of the color on there. <laughs> so I'm going to do what we always do. If we run into a situation where we've created something that we're not exactly happy with, or it's just not pleasing to our eye, then we just have to do something about it. We got to change it. We got to make it to where we like it. So what I did was I found a little piece of paper in my um, scrap drawer over here beside me. And I already had a little bit of stenciling on this particular piece of paper. And I'm thinking I'm going to put that. I did lift my bird up a little bit and my um, little blocks here. Um, I think I'm going to put that in here and just kind of cover up what's on this side with that brown paper. And I think that kind of helps to tone that down a little bit. And then I'm going to do something across the top, too, to cover up some of that there. And I think that will help as well. I found a piece of music paper, and I went ahead and took um, my little homemade stamp and I just stamped a little cluster of leaves on this music paper and I thought that would look um, kind of nice right up here at the top and I'm bringing it down even somewhat into the page not just covering the border but kind of bringing it down a little bit more and I think I'm going to like that uh, the look of that a whole lot more before I attach this little piece here I'm going to take this arrow stamp and just stamp an arrow maybe two on this um, paper and then I'll attach that. But I just feel like that coral color with the stenciling was just a little bit too much. So this is the way I'm going to take care of muting that down and, and yet I'm still adding the vintage look to my page. I have a little piece of fabric, a little strip, and I've, I've got a stamp, and I'm gonna stamp this into some paint so I can do the um, paint on fabric um, prompt. So I'm gonna check that one, and I'm gonna check the arrows. So after this, all I have to do to finish the prompts is the postage stamp. So I'm going to let that dry for a few minutes.
So I got everything on my page. I'm much happier with this page now. I'm glad to finally be able to use my little bird. And the back side of my tag, I covered in some coffee stained uh, paper. And then I just wrote down the prompts and what day uh, Janet had done these on her channel. So anyway, I think it's so much fun and I'm enjoying this so much. And I encourage everybody to uh, go and check out Janet Nash's channel. Her streams uh, are live on Monday mornings, but they also uh, are recordings on her channel as well. So you can watch three plays anytime you want to. And uh, I think you'll enjoy her a lot. She's a lot of fun. So thanks for joining me today uh, for this little bit of fun playtime. I really enjoyed it. And um, I look forward to seeing you in the next video. Take care, everybody. Bye-bye.